Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use multiple IP addresses on one computer. Now before I start here, uh, I'm only going to be using shared IP addresses and I'm going to be using a service called a VPN service, Virtual Private Network Service. So I appreciate this might not be what everybody intends, but um, I will show you how to use more than one IP address on each computer. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to use demonstrate this by using two browsers Firefox and Chrome now at the moment I've got Firefox let me just show you my location in IP of the IP address I'm using in Chrome and you can see it's a UK IP address uh, hopefully you can see it there on the Welsh borders I'll just minimize that and the same at the moment my um, Firefox has got the same IP address, so it's on the Welsh borders, uh, a UK IP address. Okay, so there we go. We've got two IP addresses on the, uh, one IP address on the same computer. Now, I'm going to show you how to use uh, um, a system called split tunneling in a VPN. Okay, so here's my VPN. Going to show you how this works this is nordvpn you might be familiar with vpn services uh, i use nordvpn and have done for well donkey's years now um, because it's fast it's got servers all over the world and it's cheap <clears throat> so how am i going to get a multiple ip address let me just connect my vpn to let's go for a new york ip address so i'm clicking there and I've got a United States IP address. Now, if you're familiar with VPNs, VPN is, of course, a virtual private network and is an encrypted tunnel. Now, all the data on this computer will currently flow through that VPN. So I will effectively only have one IP address, that of the VPN. Any website I visit from now on will think I've got an American IP address because it can't see my real IP address. So, how do I get past this and have multiple IP addresses? Well, I have to use this feature I mentioned called split tunneling. <clears throat> now, not all VPNs have got this, but um, NordVPN's got pretty much everything going, really. Uh, and you'll find it, well, let me go back there, um, in the bottom left corner, this is on the desktop. Uh, it's in similar places on the tablets versions and the uh, smartphone versions you just have to find this little cog this little wheel here and you click that's for settings and then you want to scroll down and find split tunneling okay so generally it'd be switched off if i switch it on now it will enable this screen so i've got two options here i can disable the vpn for selected apps or enable the vpn for selected apps so basically, I can either say everything goes down the VPN bar this, or nothing goes down the VPN bar this. Um, so here, I'm quite security conscious, so I'll enable. So I'll make sure the VPN is enabled for everything bar Firefox. Okay, so I'll leave this disable VPN for selected apps, and I'll click on Firefox. Okay, and I'll add apps there, add selected, and that should work. So now I've basically got um, Firefox enable. Uh, Firefox won't use the VPN and Chrome will. So let me just start um, Firefox. Let me just re refresh this screen, and which is going to look up my IP address, and it is still in the UK. Okay, so I've got a. I've got a UK IP address on Firefox there, so if I want to watch BBC iPlayer or browse in the UK, I just use Firefox. Let's minimize that and let's type Chrome. Still showing Wales, but I haven't refreshed it. Let me just refresh now and you can see Chrome is using the VPN. The split tunneling hasn't applied to this, so I've got Chrome using a US IP address in New York. Um, so I've got an American IP address on Chrome and a UK IP address on Firefox. And we can do that with anything. I can I can 
basically have two IP addresses running on the computer at the same time. And I can pick, I'll have my local IP, my, my real IP address, and a um, VPN one. Uh, I can't have two VPN ones currently because the split tunneling won't work for that. You either apply it or not apply it. So you couldn't have two completely different um, IP address. You basically got the IP address of the location you're in and the VPN one. Okay, well, that's all for it now. That's how you can use multiple IP addresses. I hope that's helped some people. I appreciate that other people will not want to use a VPN IP address. So there are different ways of doing that. And I'll hopefully put that in a different video. Okay, thank you for watching and um, have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.